What's happening? Welcome back to another episode of the Account for Your Life podcast. Jay Moore, the healthy accountant, helping you to account for your life. Today, we're going to jump into this mentality uh, shift when it comes to our skills. Guys, this is the Mindset uh, and Money Makeover 2024, Project 144. Man, let's jump in. Look, um, and so I'm gonna give you some context here about what I'm what I'm gonna what I'm going to explain and demonstrate today. All right, I'm gonna give you some context um, because I think the context is gonna help understand where we're going, especially when it comes to the mindset and the money makeover that 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 many of us would like to experience. Um, and I'm gonna give you that context so that you can then see it, use it, and then take your life, your business, whatever it is, to a new level. Guys, if this is your first time joining this podcast, the first time seeing it, even if you are returning, but you haven't subscribed, why don't you subscribe to our channel channel here on YouTube? Or if you're watching on Facebook, why don't you go ahead and share, hit that share button, that like button, that love button, and, and let somebody else know about Jim One Healthy Account News, helping people to account for their lives. It could be by way of um, your health, by way of your money, by way of your business. Make sure you share this so that others can check it out. Wow. So one of my mentors said something some years ago that I heard him. I'd never heard it before. Um, and so he says, you know, I think he was asked a question like, what is the fastest path, path to the money? Like, what's the fastest path to the money? And he was also saying, hey, look, we all have something already in our hands. We all have something already we possess. And because we already possess it, we don't have to actually go learn much about anything because we have it already. I'm going to say that again. We don't have to go and learn much because we already have this skill already. It's just how do you identify, especially for those of us that may not know you like, I don't know. I didn't go to college. I don't have a degree, you know, but we all have a skill, at least one that we can use to to pretty much fast track us on to the, de the destination where we like to go. Now, here's here's some skills that I personally have. I have some I have some I have a few I have a skill of cutting hair. Like if, if all I did was cut hair, I could cut hair and I can make some money. Now, here's the thing. The thing, the thing about cutting hair these days, why would I just cut hair? Because if I just cut hair, then I'm going to be limited in the amount of money I can make. So you got to think of that. Maybe I can teach some barbers how to do some things. And that's what barbers do today. They teach people how to do it, but I know how to do it. But okay. So that's one thing. What else? Man, I, I can cook. I can, hey, look, if it's barbecue, if it's frying chicken, hey, man, if it's making food taste good, like, I can do that. I can even make cheesecake. I can just sell that. And why wouldn't you just do that? Well, you know, because because you have options, because we're looking for the fastest path. So so I've, so I've got the hands where I can cut hair. I've got the hands where I can cook and make food. But then I've got this other skill, like, I want just. I just so happen to go to school, got a certification, and I know something about this thing called accounting and tax. Wow, look at that. Man. Then, okay, let's keep going because we'll just talk about where I'm at today because, because sometimes we have so many skills we don't know what to choose from, but we're going we're gonna to talk about that. Then it's like, oh, man, I've been podcasting. I've been speaking for the past, I don't know how long, was it seven years in front of a camera? Sometimes with nobody in the audience, literally just just having a bullhorn out here speaking. So that's that's another thing. Like, wow, you're a podcaster, you know, speaker. Um, what else? Man, I've written books, written some books. You know, I've done some things with that. So I have a few things that I have in my hand now. Now, so if you're like me, you have a few things. This that's where you got to ask yourself, what's the fastest path? I've done a bunch, I've done other things, but those are probably the things that I've done the most of. And so let's now look at well, what do we have that could send, take us faster? Like, huh, this tax thing. You know, taxes, do you know taxes are boring? 
tax taxes boring, man. Most people don't want to talk about taxes. I, I think I was in a group and I, and I said something about taxes. Like, taxes is fun. Everybody looked at me like taxes ain't fun. Taxes ain't no game, man. I, I don't even want to deal with them. See, that's how most people think about taxes. And I'm trying to, well, no, taxes is fun. Taxes is a game. Did you know this? There's a game to play. But here's the thing: people make mistakes. People people make mistakes in the game, and because they make mistakes in the game. They don't want to keep playing or they just acquiesce to whatever's on the board. And so here it is. Taxes is part of my fastest path. How is it the fastest path? Because when I looked at the amount of money, guys, it's a money shift. We're talking about a mentality shift so that you can actually make more money. When you look at I can actually make more money in the service business or even in the teaching business. Both. I could do coaching, you know, people could pay five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars for coaching. I can, you know, like the service business could be upwards of, you know, twenty five, fifty thousand for a client, maybe even more. It just depends. Like, wow, that, that's mentality shit. So but then but here's where here's where I don't know about you. Here's why I've sometimes fallen because you want to do something else. Man, I just have this thing on my heart. Are you a favorite of an entrepreneur? You got something on your heart. You got something on your heart. You got a mission. Man, I'd love to be able to do that. But here's the thing. You, you, it may be the longer path. It's not that you can't do the path. One of my mentors, because he took the fastest path, he was able to go faster. He literally took the fastest path. And then he didn't even realize that he then got shifted into this other path where now he helps thousands and thousands of faith-driven entrepreneurs get to get get to new heights. But he used the fastest path. The fastest path was in financial services. And here's the thing. We all have a skill. Everybody has a skill. I just share with you. I can cut hair. I can cook. I can, I can speak. I can write books. And I've got this thing in taxes. Then if I'm looking for the mentality shift, I'm looking to shift my mind so that I don't get all twisted up. Anything that you'd like to do, come on, check this out. Anything that you'd like to do that's not in the fast path, just give it away. Just give it, give it, give it. Here's why. You don't want to try and attach the money to something that's not ready for the money. That's what I learned over the past seven years doing this. Don't try and attach any money to it until it's time because then the money's going to come. Now, all right. So another thing, another thing about this mentality shift. The mentality shift that many, well, I'm not going to say about any, many of us. I'm going to just say me. The mentality shift I personally had to have had to have gone through was what are the experiences that I've already had that could be a breakthrough for somebody else? Yesterday, I decided. I said, you know what? I because I'm. I, I've done a bunch of things, and to me, they don't feel like much. I said, well, why don't I just talk more about some things that I've never talked about? So I decided to talk about Facebook advertising, like paid advertising. When you actually go into the platform, you spend money. I said, I'm going to talk about this. And I wrote, I wrote a post and you know, put it out there. And I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can write a post every like five days a week. Because it's not that I'm trying to gain something from it. I'm just trying to put out what's happening. See, it's a skill, but here's the thing. The be- the fastest path for me is through tax. That's why we get the tax game masterclass for people in business, whether you're making six, seven figures, whatever the figures you're making or not making, this class is going to help you to at least have a mentality shift about taxes and about the game that has to be played. Like I said, a few couple of minutes ago, I said, people make a huge mistake. One of the biggest mistakes, and I'm going to share this in the class, one of the biggest mistakes that people make is, is they start a business. They have the nerve to start a business. People do this and they don't even set up a business. They just start and they start making money and, and then they get hit because they because they didn't actually know what to do. I call that the ignorance tax. They get taxed for ignorance, just being, lack of a better term, dumb. It's a mentality shift. And what I had to realize is that, man, I'm walking around. See, I'm walking around with all this stuff in me, all this information in me. And do you know you don't have to be like everybody else? 
I think that is the that's the, the part for me that has helped me this week is that there's nobody like me, period. I don't care what anybody else is doing in taxes. Yep, those guys are going to be able to say it different than me, but you know what? I'm going to say it like me. I'm going to say it based on the context of what I know. And because of that, there is a whole group of people. But here's the thing. How do you know? How do you get to the people? That's why I got to write about this. I got to write about advertising. Look, I learned advertising from a number of people. Like uh, one of my favorite guys is Billy Jean. If you heard of him, Billy Jean is marketing. Um, it's one of my favorite advertisers because he's no nonsense. It's just advertise. Look, you, you can't get no customers if you're not advertising. You have to advertise. And because of social media, look, at the end of the day, can you have organic? Can you make it through, make it inorganic? Absolutely. You can. It just takes long. And it's no guarantee. At least, at least with advertising, what you get is you get, you know you're getting in front of people. Now, you, but you just don't know who's going to buy, which you don't know who's going to buy it. So I love Billy Jean. He's taught me some a bunch of things about advertising. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna write about this and this mentality shift of people need to people need to hear what you gotta say. People need to hear about the stuff that you know about your skill. People need people need to know that yeah they may have heard of something, but you know what? Because of how you said it, it makes all the sense, and that's why they work with you. Man, it's crazy, right? I got a client recently, and it was just interesting because when the client came, it was almost like the client told me that they were my client. They just said, I'm your client, and it's just because you're it. I didn't choose the client. The client chose me. Client, that, that's the point. People choose who they work with, but how do they know who they should work with if you don't advertise all right. So but this isn't about the advertising. This is about the mentality shift when it comes to skills. And another thing we have to look at when we are shifting our minds. Oh, my goodness. I was talking about I was talking to my son yesterday and I was like, man, son, like your mentality, how you think in your mind is going to make or break you make. Let me say break. It's going to make your school year. Like you can boldly say right now, man, this is this is my senior year. It's the easiest year I've ever had in college. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it was so easy. I can't believe that 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 I graduated so easily. See, those are the types of things that when we come into our true mentality, we start realizing that why did I ever think this was hard? Why did I ever think this, these challenges were, you know, were, were bigger than me? Why did I ever allow myself to get discouraged? Or look, at the end of the day, yeah, you may have got it for a second, but get your butt right up. Why did I ever, re why, why didn't I realize that all I needed to do was push myself up? Here's another skill I gained this year. The skill of pushing up. January, actually, I think it was like the last day of 23. I said, I'm going to start doing push-ups every day. How much am I going to do? Ah, to 500 a day. I wasn't, I hadn't been doing, I probably wasn't even doing, I wasn't even doing 100 a day at the time. Um, and when I did do push-ups, they, they seemed hard. I said, okay, man, I'm going to do 500 a day. And sometimes when I get these into this, this intuition to come through me, I don't always know what the meaning of it is. I don't question it. I just start doing it. And so for the past, here, here it is, we're in the eighth month and I've been pushing up 500 times every single day on August the 13th of 2024. Here's what happened. I was at the gym doing push-ups, and something said, this is the year of the push-up. I said, this is the year of the push-up. Take this push up and push yourself up to the next level. I was like, that's interesting. 
the shift. Think about the shift that you'd like to make in your life, in your marriage, in your business, in your money, in your health, in your relationships, whatever it is. Think about the shift. Think about the shift that it'll take. A lot of times that shift, yeah, it's mental, but then we let's get physical with it. Let's do something to our body that forces us to move. And the push-up, here's what I'm gleaning from this push-up. This push-up is the way. You, I'm not, you probably never heard of this book, The Obstacle is the Way. The Obstacle is the Way, written by Ryan Holiday. And the premise of this book is that whatever obstacles you see in front of you, that is the actual way to get to where it is you don't have to go. Just go through the obstacles, go around the obstacles, break them down. Don't allow the obstacles to keep you from the way, keep you from where you're going, because those obstacles are good. So how does one truly shift their mentality when it comes to their own skills? Because some somebody's saying today, Jay, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know if this skill is valuable. Jay, I, man, I don't even know um, like how I can really monetize this skill. Man, man, I don't even know that this skill is something that people desire. Like, I, like, I don't know what to do with this skill. I just, I got it, but what do I do? Push up. Get down on your knees. Get on the floor. Push yourself up. Push yourself up. Use, use the proverbial push up to push yourself up so that you could then get it and say, oh man, wow, I'm, I'm now feeling invigorated. I'm now feeling strong. I'm now feeling powerful. I now feel like I can reach my potential. I now feel like, man, prosperity is right in front of me. Wow, I feel like, man, my passions are coming out. Oh my goodness, my purpose is right in front of me. But here's the thing. It's painful. Yesterday we talked about pain and the gains of success or of the process. Pain. Let's use the pain of pushing up to shift our mentality so that what we truly, 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 truly would like to see in the world, we become that. Making a bold prediction for somebody here today that you will push yourself and you will push yourself up even when the pain comes, even when the pain feels like you can't get through it, even when your arms are hurting, even when even when your you know your body is saying no. Even when, you know, you're driving your car and because you did those push-ups and you're turning, you feel like you can't turn. Like, even though all those things are happening, what you're going to do and what you're going to see is that when I, when I do these push-ups, this is showing me that it's possible for me to push my way to the success that I know that I am. It's a shift in mentality. Guys, your mentality is what makes or breaks your money and your mindset. Shift the mentality today by pushing yourself up. Look, I'm going to do more episodes on, on because this is totally new, just bringing the idea of the push-up in, like, like the Holy Spirit showed that to me this morning. And we're going to continue on this, on this idea of the push-up so that so that anybody, especially faith-driven entrepreneurs who believe, who believe that they're ready to push themselves up, um, we're going to teach you, going to help you, going to support you all the way through to pushing yourself up so that, one, you can shift your mentality to have the mind and money makeover. So, guys, I want to thank you for joining me for this episode of the Account for Life podcast. I'm Jay Moore, Healthy Accountant, helping you to account for your life. God bless, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. This has been the Account for Your Life podcast with your host, the healthy accountant himself, Jay Moore. Until next time, make it a great day.